Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to show you how to make these bonnie earrings. They're the earrings to the pendant I did in my last video. So as always, I've put a list in the description below. Sorry, I love these little danglies. I've put a list in the description below of everything you'll need to make these along with all the usual links. We've got Facebook, Instagram and Etsy. So have a little look at Etsy if you want to see my written tutorials. To make these earrings you'll need 0.8mm wire which is 20 gauge and I've cut two lengths at 5 inches which is 13 centimetres. You'll need 0.5mm wire that's 24 gauge and I've cut two lengths at 10 inches which is 25 centimetres. You'll need 0.315mm weaving wire which is 28 gauge and you'll need two lengths at 10 inches which is 26 centimetres and you can go one step up or down on either of these uh, recommended gauges so you'll need two briole stones mine are like teardrops drilled across the top you can use beads if you want to and we'll need two eight millimeter jump rings and two five millimeter jump rings that's outside measurements we'll need four two millimeter beads and two ear wires so tools i've got my wire cutters round nose pliers standard pliers and my bale pliers because we're going to be using the bow pliers to do all the shapes. Mine are the uh, simple beadsmith ones. So take your uh, your 0.8 millimeter wire, which is the 20 gauge, and your bow pliers. With the bow pliers, um, I'm going to be using this middle size here. If you want to use your round nose pliers instead, just put a little mark on the pliers so you make sure you keep going back to the same part so you get them all the same size. So we're going to position that centrally on the pliers. Bend the wire all the way around. Oops. So you've got this shape and you need to make sure you keep using the same size or mark your round nose pliers because we're going to need to match up the other earring as well in a moment. So we grip one of the wires to the side, we're going to bend that wire around and then to get it closer to, we're just going to twist a little bit. So you've got two loops right next to each other. Then we're going to do the other side. So again making sure you're going around the same size, bend that wire around and then twist that wire to get it nice and close so we've got this shape because we're doing earrings today it's best to do them both at the same time so we can match them up as we go so go and grab your other wire your 0.8 millimeter wire which is the 20 gauge and using the same size do the same thing to this wire too. So I've just made that one. So you want to roughly the same. Let's try and match them up as we go. So grip the, when you're happy with the shape, grip the, uh, where the wires cross there. And we're just going to twist the wires. And we do that for the other one too. So this one is coming over the top, so I need to twist the other way. So take your 0.5mm wire, that's a 24 gauge. Find the centre point of the wire. And we're just going to wrap a couple of times around this side here and then take the other end of the wire and we're going to go around the other wire a couple of times or so just go around once so we have this so we've got one wrap around each side and both the wires are facing up. So now we're going to add a bead 
I'm going to add one of our little two millimetre beads to each wire. So I'll do this side first. Get your bead to sit in that gap there. And then wrap around that loop. Do the other side too. Pop a bead on that wire. And then this wire goes through this side. So continuing with the shaping that we did for the bonnie pendant, we do a like a half circle scoop on this side. Wrap the wire around. And then we wrap around a few more times. So we've wrapped around about five times. And now we need to take the wire and scoop it around. This time the wire is coming from the back. So it'll look a little bit different. Scoop it around. And try and match it up to go to the other side. And then hold that in place and go around that same loop again. I'm just going to shape that in a little bit. And then I'm going to go around the loop again. That's Grace snoring now. I'm going to take the wire over the top loop and go through that one. So I come up there, I go around just the top loop and then we do the same little arc shape to the top loop and keep adjusting it until you're happy with it and then we attach to that top loop with a few wraps around the top. A bit tough on the fingers this one. So now we need to do the other side. So we just do it exactly the same as that side. Matching it up as we go really. So we do a little arc on this side. A little Half circle scoop, hold it in place and take the wire around that loop there. And then we wrap around that side five times. Someone commented the other day that they watch all the videos in slow motion so they can make along at the same time. And I do edit and cut my videos to try and make them as short as possible so that you can watch them quick to decide if you want to make them or not. So I'm sure I sound pretty strange if you're watching it in slow motion. So is that five times? Roughly. Then we're going to bend the wire up so we can get this curve on this side. And 
and then hold it in place and I'm going around that side I've let go of it and it slips a little bit Oops. so I've gone around it, I've gone around it again and then I go through and around the two so as long as we do the same thing on both sides it'll match up nicely so then I go through here and then up that way and put a little scoop at the top can make very little pendants if you want to It'd be a nice little lightweight pendant because these earrings are to match the bonnie pendant that I did the other day but you can make three of these if you wanted to make it into a pendant just on its own like pull those apart a little bit at the top so we've got a nice space for the jump ring So that's what we've got so far and we can cut those top wires flatten the cut ends down so we just need to do exactly that on the other one keep matching up the sides as you go so your scoops are the same. If you do cross your wires over, then you could cross them over on this one so that they all match each other. So I've added that decorative wire to the other piece. I think I'm showing you the back of that one. Yeah, that's it. So I've got two exactly the same. So take your pliers, what we're going to do is we're going to straighten up these two bottom wires here. And then we're going to bend them to the back with brown nose pliers. I do that for the other one too. So make sure <clears throat> when you do bend the wires to the back that you've got the front facing forward. So next take your little briolet stone, if that's how you say it, and your weaving wire. And thread the wire through the top. So mine is drilled across the top. You can just use a little bead if you want to. So slide it along about three inches and then bring the wires up and twist them. That's how a Gracie's snoring if you can hear a lot of noise in the background. So we're just going to twist that up a bit and then Take your wool pliers and we're going to wrap it around quite a thick part of your pliers there. So we've got a nice loop at the top and then go around the whole thing. And you just want to keep going around and around. Going completely around the top of the stone too. Where that second wire is. We can cut that off. And then just make sure it's pressed down later. 
So keep wrapping around the top part of the stone. And then take the wire up the back and around the top. Then you can either finish by wrapping a few times around the top or you can go a few times around the loop. So then just cut that wire and press it down and press down any sharp ends. And then you need to do another one so we've got two the same. It is easier and it does make up a bit tidier if you hold on to the top with your pliers while you're wrapping your wire around. So when you've made two, you've got a definite front and a back because your wire comes up at the back there. So with your front side facing, take one of your earrings and with the front side facing you as well, going to just pop that dangly onto those two wires there and these two are just going to curl up and finish off at the back so I'm going to cut those cut them about that short and then with the round nose pliers I'm just going to curl them around so that they join at the back there. And I've squeezed the front together there at the bottom. So that's what we've got so far. So we need to add the other one to the other one. So I've done the other one. So keep matching them up as you go, but that's what you should have so, like so far. And we'll put our ear wires and jump rings on now. So I've added my 8mm jump ring through the top loop there, and I'll close that, take your 5mm jump ring to open it a little bit more, so pop that through the 8mm and you need to pop your ear wire onto that little jump ring. My ear wires I've made using rose gold filled so that they look like copper but they're not and they won't make your ears go green. So that sits at the right angle with the two little jump rings at the top there and we've got the dangly at the bottom. So you need to do that to the other one. So there we have it, nice little dangly earrings and I'm just going to run and oxidise mine and come and show you what they're like. Take my ear wires off before I oxidise. The gold doesn't oxidise anyway and I don't want to misshape the wires. So there we have it finished, I've oxidised mine. I love those little danglies. If you'd like to oxidise yours, I did a video on oxidising and aftercare. I'll put a link on the screen. I really love how all the detail comes out when you oxidise them. If you joined me for my last video, then you'd have made the Bonnie pendant too. So we've got a nice little matching set there. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. So thanks for watching another one of my videos. Please subscribe if you and hit the notification icon if you want to be notified of new videos that I do. Um, please like and comment on this video. And let me know what you thought. If you want to see my written tutorials, they're over on Etsy. You'll find the link below. There might even be a link on the screen. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Gracie, if you didn't know. See you in the next one.